I start off a stream real quick. Anyways, we're doing a, uh, another mail time thing. If you are interested in like uh, sending stuff in, greatly appreciated. If it's homemade or something, or something that comes from the heart, then, uh, then that's much preferable. Uh, send it in to 1400 Village Square Boulevard, Suite 3, Box 340, Tallahassee, Florida, 32312. Anyways, yeah, so send in stuff if you want, and uh, it is fucking hot. <laughs> Last time someone sent me in a blanket with a fellow YouTuber, a colleague, I believe is what they're called, by the name of Asterios Kokinos. He looks, he's just a white guy with glasses, right? It's like a big fucking like super soft square blanket. And my four-year-old daughter thinks it's me on the blanket. And now she refuses to part with it. And, and she loves it. And so she sleeps with it every day and, and cuddles up with it on the couch. I think it's just my daughter's dumb as hell because I also got a, a pillow sham, one of the sequin ones last time with Danny DeVito on it. My daughter, Madeline, looked at it and was like, oh, it's dad on the pillow. And I'm like, dude, do not fucking equate me to Danny DeVito, all right? That hurts. <laughs> that fucking hurts. All right, I'm gonna, uh, last time we started it off with that guy that like sent in basically like an IED bomb scare. I'm gonna go ahead and get a questionable box that's in here. Oh, it's this one. Ah. A large and in charge box covered in duct tape. Once again, this is what I like to refer to as the junk drawer box, where someone just opens up a, a, a drawer in their house and they just dump all the dog shit they can find into it. Actually this, no, there's like a garbage bag in here. I think he just sent me garbage. A tool set. It's one of those like paracord tool sets. It's got a fire starter. Are you supposed to do the back end? Is that not gonna work? Correct me if I'm wrong, isn't that how you do this? There we go. Oh shit. Oh, that's badass. All right, this one's a lot better than the one I grew up with. The one I grew up with would just like farted out sparks. This one's, this one's burning off my arm hair. I'll use this on poob later next time we go out camping. <laughs> Hold on, let me show you the insides of this. That's a lot of shit. That's just a lot of stuff. I'm just gonna get rid of the stuff that doesn't make sense. Like, uh, I guess with the latest overturning of a certain law, this might come in handy. I'll keep that over here. You guys are about to see the most embarrassing part of having a head as big as mine. Actually, this one might just fit if I put it on the fattest head size. Okay, it would be a lot better if like on the back end of this hat, there was just uh, Pikachu's asshole. When I was a wee lad, I used to collect po Pokemon. I had caught literally them all and then had many duplicates of some, right? My mom was tired of like picking up some of the cards when I would have them out. And so she had a garage sale and she fucking sold a, a gallon Ziploc bag full of Pokemon cards. Yeah, she sold all that shit for like a dollar and I cried. But I got her back because what I did was I had another collection of something that I knew she was more financially vested in. Hot Wheels, do you remember Hot Wheels? I had a huge collection of Hot Wheels, massive collection. I had like hundreds of cars. They're each $5. So my mom's like, eh, I keep getting you little Hot Wheels and stuff, but you know, that, that's kind of, that's a lot of money I've spent on them fucking Hot Wheels. I remember my weird cousin that nobody likes came into town and this was shortly after mom had gotten rid of my Pokemon cards and the fucking memory was still burned in. My cousin came in town and he had one of those uh, Hot Wheels tracks and he only had like two cars. I was like, hey buddy, buddy, you need some cars? Take my whole collection, take it, take it all in front of everybody. And my mom was just like, you did not just fucking do that. Like it was right after Christmas. She had just gotten me some more Hot Wheels cars and I was over there just like, fuck you, bitch. I got her back by giving away more of my shit. Yeah, I did. That, I don't know. It's just like a fuck you. I can't, I can't explain like why that's, a, why that's an extra fuck you, but it is. Don't even start with me. There's a reason there and you know there's a reason there and I don't have to explain it to you, all right? All I know was she was devastated more than I was. That's all that matters. So, hey, my little pay pig. Isn't that what your name? Dude, don't fucking name yourself that. Did you really send this stuff in? I'm willing to bet you did because I just realized there's caps in here for a cap gun. Last time, I think it was you, sent in a cap gun. 
Oh shit. Are these even gonna fit? Bro, these aren't gonna fit. Cut it. Oh, I can, oh, you, God, you guys are brilliant. You guys are probably all like chemical engineers and shit. It's coming together. I'm okay. <laughs> Woo! This shit's badass. All right, that's pretty cool. They have to be modified, but small price to pay. Uh-oh, no, nope, there's a little gap here in the plastic. This guy might've sprayed this thing with cyanide. See, part of me is thinking like, oh, this guy sent in stuff last time. He's a good guy. He's a nice guy. But that's how they get you. This guy's gonna send in nice stuff, lull me into a false sense of security thinking, oh, here's another package from my little pay pig. What a nice guy. And then he's gonna sneak in some like cyanide or something into, into something here. These Cokes, these Cokes are suspect. I'm not, I, I don't trust shit this guy sent now, now that I've warned myself. And a Ken doll? Not in my house. That one looks like it's pretty good. Nope, the plastic's broken on that. <laughs> and you know what's funny is there's some people in chat, they're like, oh, dude, why, oh, what's with the fear? Not even a week ago, someone tried to punch me in the face with a box. Oh, complete, the complete world of Greek mythology. Yo, this bitch got some big ass titties. Oh, he fucking bookmarked that. He was like, check out the big ass titties. Hell yeah, he threw up a bookmark on this page. <laughs> hey Sam, you wanna check that out? Check that out on stream. <laughs> if you're Greek out there, nice. Preemptively brought a trash can, by the way, for all the dog shit that ends up coming in here eventually. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck yeah, a goblet, a chalice. Dude, this thing's fucking tight. I'm sorry, like, this is a cool cup, all right? This has got the boys on it, you know? It's got me, it's got Brian, it's got Poob, but this might be cooler. I'm gonna use that for the uh, the D&D &D show. That's gonna be my chalice I'm gonna use. It presents us a toast. Oh God, it, I don't know about that one, Chief. I was gonna pour some stuff into it, but I'll pretend. <clears throat> Everlasting health for all of you. Except for you, fucking freak. Oh, tasty. Cheers, good sirs, lady friends, whores. Some of you brought whores, I'm assuming. <laughs> I had this, uh, I have like a really Christian family and there's this guy that was kind of losing his mind at a family reunion. He had dementia and stuff. And so everybody in my family is like very polite and very like, bless your heart, bless your heart, little boy. And they all very polite stuff. And they were talking about going to like Gatlinburg or some shit. And the old guy just chimes in super loud. He just goes, were there whores? Were there whores there? And it was just fucking dead quiet. Like the table just absolutely cuts off. There, yes, yes, there were, there was plenty of whores there, uncle. And this might be the, the best part of this thing. Hold on. A pair of fucking Heelys. What size? Oh, I'm putting these fuckers on. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. I'm bringing these, I'm bringing these to San Diego. Yeah, these fuck, these fuck hard. I'm sorry, Chiefs, I might have to just go cruise around for a second. If I like break my ankle right here, this is gonna be so pathetic. Oh yeah, they fit. Oh my God, yeah, I'm gonna kill myself. These things are brutal, dude. They're just <laughs> slipping in my own chair. Can you turn with them? Oh shit, come on. How the fuck do people do this shit? I don't have the coordination for this. This is a concrete floor, dude. I'm about to fucking kill myself. This is not gonna happen on, on stream, just so you know. I do not have the coordination to fucking ride this. Instinctively, I throw my, <laughs> I throw my fucking, my toes down. How do they do this without busting their ass? Shit. Hold on. <laughs> All right, I'm done with that. Let's roll back over here to the chair. God, isn't this cool? <laughs> <laughs> these fucking rule. Whoever sent these in. Arthur's reading race. I don't like this. Look, I'm not into racist shit. Stop sending me Confederate stuff. Stop sending me Arthur's reading race. I don't care how good they can read. I'm not gonna teach my kids about that stuff. Uh, there is a letter here. Do you want me to read this whole thing? Hey Sam, it's, I'm long time viewer since the one, two, three days. Uh, wanted to thank you for your service. I'm the same guy who sent the cap gun. He lives in West Virginia and was exploring woods when I found deer bones. While I was out, I ended up getting poison oak, which ended up on my balls, ass crack, face, lip, and fingers. Enjoy the shit I sent. My Twitch name is My Little Pay Pig, and Discord name is The Lone Shitter. By the way, I was thinking of making a YouTube channel myself and was thinking of the name Colonel John or Major John. I'm leaning towards Colonel John myself. What do you think? What about like John, like John uh, Tron, maybe? Like, like John Tron. Go for that. Maybe you should do John Tron. 
Yeah, how about Hemorrhoid John? Since you go ahead, you went out of your way to say this was you that sent this stuff, and we already at the beginning of the package saw that there was a tube of hemorrhoid cream. The seal had been broken on it, which leads me to believe that you probably have hemorrhoid problems that have since been resolved. I think your name for your YouTube channel should be Hemorrhoid John. And uh, if you agree with that, go ahead and, and uh, applaud really loud. Wow, the crowd seems to really like that idea. John, if you, if you oppose the idea of being called Hemorrhoid John on YouTube, then go ahead and speak up or forever hold your peace. <laughs> Nothing. All right, Hemorrhoid John it is. Oh, this is, I'm gonna, this one's to Steve. Words cannot describe my hatred towards you. You are a 30 year old man who sounds like a prepubescent teenager. You are the laughing stock and punching, this is so mean. <laughs> I hope you fuck your leg up again. I hope Poob and Brian Eiffel Tower your mom. Fuck you. <laughs> this isn't even like funny. Wow, this guy has it out for Steve. Jesus Christ, what'd Steve do to him? Oh, these are the deer bones. I was like, Jesus Christ, dude, what is this? They're kind of stinky, dude. You sent me stinky deer bones, bro. Uh, this is a mandible. It's got teeth on it. I feel, oh, interesting. This guy has sent in uh, some coins Wait, he said there's Nazi shekels in here? Oh, there, oh shit, there is, yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah, there's also Nazi coins in there. Enjoy your free shit, AJ from Pressure Points. P.S. Since you're a little Rome lover, I also threw in a Roman coin. Well, thank you so much. And his podcast is called, oh, Pressure Points. Anyways, the, uh, thank you for the, uh, thanks for the coins. I guess I'll put these Nazi coins in my collection and then I'll make sure to tell my kids that I'm actually not a fervent admirer, just they're for historical preservation or something. I don't know how you fucking, like the only Nazi related thing I had, can I show a firearm on, I don't know if that's allowed. Anyways, I have a, I have a FN Browning uh, Belgian made Nazi pistol. And, and some people might go like, why the fuck you got that Nazi pistol, bro? Are you like some sort of admirer? No, motherfucker, my great uncle was in the Battle of the Bulge and he shot some guy in the fucking face and took it off his dead body and came home with it and was like, yeah! <laughs> All right, this one's got some stuff in it. Hold on, let's get another box. Let's, uh, what's this? Big bag. Oh, it's just Amazon. It says, you can eat these if you want from Davos. Oh, and it's a, it's a coloring book for my kids. Isn't that nice? And what are these, colored pencils? I keep having a problem with the, the youngest one. She gets those Crayola markers, the washable ones, immediately. She's fucking coloring the inside of her mouth. Thank you so much for saying this in, actually. My kids love coloring. What the hell is that down there? Incoming like a fucking giant needle <laughs> into my face. Since you've moved house, your background seemed a bit dry, so I thought I could help with that. It's a uh, killer poster. Looks like he's slab squatting. That one's pretty tight. Two Usex, probably about to go raw dog each other in the hideout, as any two good Usex do. Oh, these are tight, man. These are, uh, hold on, now that I've seen them and they don't suck, hold on. Sam the Town Crier, yeah, it looks like a scroll. I say, all in ears reach, go to etsy.com forward slash aponefr for more artwork. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, this guy went to Build-A-Bear and made me a bear. Let's see this Build-A-Bear. This thing is god awful. <laughs> this is the fucking strangest Build-A-Bear I have ever seen in my fucking life. Although he has Tims, the Tims are fucking dope. I'm not gonna lie. He's like a uh, like a military. Did he get shot? He's fucking. He's got a shrapnel wound. His jacket's all torn up. Goddamn PTSD Build-A-Bear. I really do like the Tims though, those are funny. I think if he's just nude with just the shoes on, that shit would be fire as hell. There we go, just a bear with Tims. That's fucking tight. Oh, hold on. Does he have like an audible thing? You should have seen me blast that into the recording microphone in the Build-A-Bear store. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This guy got me like, this is like a 12 year old's wet dream. 
It's a giant Bowie knife. <laughs> this one's pretty tight. This one's much nicer than the one I had growing up. Hello, guys. It's me, uh, Skallagrim. Is that that guy's name? Like, fucking, the dude that always does those fucking sword reviews and shit. It's me, Skallagrim. I think this one's nice. This one's kind of nice. This is like the most dull thing ever. This gives zero stuff. How much you fuck? If I cut myself, I don't want it live. <laughs> oh, this, this one's good. Sam, can't wait to hear the soul-crushing criticisms you have for me. So before you get the chance, it's handmade, hand-painted, so go easy on me. I hope you like or find value in it, because I don't. The head is detachable. Oh yeah, his head is detachable. It's fucking ripped off. Oh my god, his foot fell off, too. I'm gonna be honest with you, Chief. I don't think this survived the shipping. Damn, dude, this thing's fucking tight, too. Oh, his foot fell off again. I'm gonna heely over to you guys so you can see what I'm working with here. All right. Fuck! His hand fell off again. Hey, look at that. He had a hand with a Diet Coke in it. All of his shit's falling off, though. I'll fix him. I don't think he cured correctly is the problem. He seems a little bit soft. I love him. Thank you. I'm gonna... Little kiss. And I wouldn't have given you a hard time if it's like, you went out of your way to make something for me like that? Come on. That's badass. Oh, hell yeah. Here we go. Finally, like, you guys send me useful stuff. See, like, people that send shit like uh, the coloring book with the, the colored pencils, I appreciate that. You're trying to help. Children don't need any help. Help me. This guy sent me a book. How to traumatize your children with seven proven methods. Seven proven methods to help you screw up your kids deliberately and with skill. I don't think I need any help. I'm kind of a master already. This is all very interesting stuff. Kind of goes against my parenting method. Mine's like, I have a very like a Lord of the Flies type parenting method where like when the kids are fighting, I'm gonna break them up. I'm not gonna let any permanent damage happen, but I don't rush to do it. <laughs> You know, I kind of sit back and go, I'll let, uh, I'll let the young one get some hits in. Teach the older one to stop fucking with her. The older one uh, has slowly realized that the younger one is not uh, unwilling to throw hands over stuff. I don't know if that makes them better people at all. I, I don't really know the reason for why I do that, but it's entertainment for me. <laughs> <laughs> we have a bunch more boxes, but I found some, like, th these are like, th they have little things in them. And I'm curious about them. Oh. I don't know what that is. That's going in the trash. That's <laughs> going straight in the trash. I don't know what that is. Uh, that might be shit. I don't know. I think that might have just, I ran out of gloves too. I put my face kind of in the bag and gave it a sniff. Go ahead and sanitize the inside of the old nostrils. This one's from Kobe, Col Colby, from Casper, Wyoming. Oh, fuck no, what the hell is that? Oh, hell yeah, what the hell is this? You know what, I thought it was ceramics and now I'm just thinking it might be like a human head. That's exactly what that is. <laughs> this thing's actually fucking badass. Hold on, look at that. It's a bowl, empty little head. It just says he watches. Am I supposed to put it in like front of it? Like a little plaque. Dear General Sam, long time watcher, first time sender. I'm getting married in a week. Congratulations. My fiance saw this sculpture I made in middle school and said she didn't want to bring it when we move in together. <laughs> Bitch, why wouldn't she want this? She made you get rid of your sculpture from middle school? That's fucked up, dude. No, I'll be I'll be cherishing this for years to come. Thank you. Shiro, if you're watching this, you better fuck this thing better be 30 minutes long. I want just like the little fucking nitty-gritty highlights. Hey Lisa, got you a little bit of you're probably looking for some relationship advice. 50 ways to eat cock. I'll probably help you out in your life. Look at this thing. It's got like little labs cards in it. Yeah, this thing has like every labs card in it. I'm talking like, there's a shitload of them. Yeah, that's tight. Oh, and there's a little physical Bitcoin in there too. Yeah, that's cool as shit. Hey Sam, I met you years ago in Discord, pulled me into a VC and we talked about Diablo 2. You added me on Discord and said we could play together and then never spoke to me again. Yeah, that sounds like me. It's been five years. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so what'd you send me, buddy? <laughs> oh, that's actually badass. Look at this. This is awesome. John Travolta and fucking Mio Wallace, I forget her, Uma Thurman. There we go. Dancing, doing their famous twist. That's actually really badass. That's going on the wall. Hold on, let me heal you over here to get some memorabilia. This is a signed, all the cast members from Pulp Fiction 
But yeah, I fucking love that movie, as like everybody else does too. I mean, that's a great movie. So thank you for that. Very badass. The Brick Bible? Are you fucking kidding me? Hold on. If this is what I think it is, this might be the most pathetic waste of time any human has ever spent on something. Hold on. This is a, uh, a Lego retelling of the Bible in comic form with Legos. I just want it to be said, this is a pathetic waste of time. This page is me when I opened this book and realized what it was. Whoever sent this, if you're the guy that made this book and this is your advertising campaign, doubt you got a customer. Heavy doubt on that one. Jesus. Where's the crucifixion? Let's find it. Hold on. <laughs> I want to see, oh, here he is. Hold on. Hold on here. He's getting put on there, right? I think the next page, you get, <laughs> you get him like a close up where he's vibing on the cross. And they're all, they're all hanging out out there. And whoever sent that in probably spent like 60 bucks on that. I feel like that was an expensive one to publish. On to, this is the final box. You wanna hear something kind of funny before I open this? At my old house, I had these neighbors that were really cool people. I was trying to think in the back of my head. I haven't met like Christian person that's like a good person. Because I'm in like Southern Baptist town. Like these are the people that are outside the dead soldiers funerals with the signs. They're like, God hates queers. You know, like, well, it says worse than that, but that's the gist of it. Those are like the type of Christians that are near here. And um, these neighbors were one of the few people I've ever, they were Seventh Day Adventists. Super cool people. Their like kid is like 12 years old. And he sent me a text yesterday from his mom's phone. And he was like, hey, I got a, I got a Twitch channel. Can you advertise it on your channel? <laughs> nope. <laughs> I was like, this is like the most sweet, innocent kid of all time. I am not advertising his channel on my, I am not subjecting him to you guys. You guys would tear that kid apart in two seconds. It'd be horrible. Uh, also a D&D uh, &D player's handbook to go along with my player's handbook. I, I got one. I just got one. It's the exact same one. Oh, that's fucking awesome. Wait, hold on. This is cool as shit. This guy's got like all these badass D20s with like things embedded in them. What the fuck is this? Jesus Christ, this is gross. What is this? It's got like something sticky on top and it spins. It's like soft on top. It's like a nipple. A dice cleaner? Fucking use a napkin. This guy was playing d and I think. I get the feeling. And his his friends pissed him off because I feel like this is all pre-used D&D stuff and he was like pissed about it. Yeah, I, this definitely is reeking of vibes of a guy that is completely fed up with his D&D group. Dr. Fill My Nuts, he says, yeah, the DM killed his character in the first session. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's what it gives off of for sure. Anyways, guys, I really appreciate you uh, sending everything in. Uh, if you want to send in stuff, send it into 1400 Village Square Boulevard, Suite 3, Box 340, Tallahassee, Florida, 32312.